Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks on the Go, I am KD and welcome to part 7 of our Descent into Madness with Call of Cthulhu. Alright, so where we left off, uh, we, we just encountered the Shambler, which was one of the scariest uh, moments of my, my adult life, I'm ashamed to say. Um, and then Cat came along and was like, hey, what you doing? Um, I'm gonna see if I can get away with doing an occultist one here. Sanders was right. This painting is cursed. What are you talking about? I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. And now she thinks I... I'm crazy. I think so too. Oh. What? You knew. You knew about the beast. Between what Irene told me and what I read in Sanders' library, I preferred to be cautious. You seem pretty keen to go it alone. At worst, you would have confirmed my fears. At best, you would have cleared the way to my merchandise. Thank you, Detective. And by the way, you don't seriously want to take where do you it? think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. Yeah. I'm suspicious as to why she's giving me free info. It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Can that count as now the favor that I Now go see your antique you? seller. I still got things to settle with Irene. So we're not going to burn that painting then. That doesn't look good. I can't imagine there being that many bookstores on this island. Where is so. the bookseller? Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. Yay, medicine. Let's get as many books as we can. Where are all your medicine and occultism books? I want to steal them all. Don't know where I'm putting all of these, actually. An old diary. The pastor declared himself to be the prophet. He renounced God and worshipped a strange pagan entity with a monstrous appearance. His wife tried to reason with her husband, but in vain. He was convinced that he must listen to this voice in his head, because it holds the truth. And yep, I'm stealing that. That's volume four. I feel as though we've, we've skipped some volumes. Try not to trigger any cutscenes at the moment because I want to get as many like history or occultism books as possible. Okay. Not history, medicine. Medicine books, that's what we want. Wow, this. This is. This is. A fun bookshop, isn't it? Yeah, I ain't gonna investigate none of that. No. More dark water history. 
See, this seems like all nice and chill and stuff like that, but I got caught off guard in part six with that. Let's go look at some paintings. What's the worst that could happen? Right, good. More medicine. Like it. What do we have here? Would you read the book? Yes. What does this strange book contain? This book contains unholy knowledge. It's the Shambler. Okay, this is going to affect my destiny, apparently. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't like the Shambler. Alright, this collection catalogues and classifies creatures that I had never heard of. Divinities from the stars. Creatures capable of traveling from one dimension to another. It presents itself as the reference work on the bestiary of the myth. Without giving details on the mythology to which it refers. Its pages are covered with phantasmagorical illustrations. That is a great word, phantasmagorical. So they're calling these the, the Malleus uh, Bistarium, but essentially it's the Necronomicon, which is a very interesting book if you ever come across it. It's a big book, but it's got like all of the Lovecraftian uh, gods, monsters, what have you in it. Oh, the Book of Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's Theosophical Movement. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. Okay. I get some occultism for that. This is, this is nice. This is basically a level up store. Oh wait, that means I'm probably going to face a boss, doesn't it? Right, more medicine. It's a point, actually. I should check and see. I got seven points. Nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, spot hidden would probably be a good one. Um, I'm not really bothering with strength. My psychology is not great, is it? That's really bad, actually. Uh, my knowledge of human behavior. Increase my chances of understanding the motivations of a person based on his or her behavior. Or the analysis of objects. Yeah, let's throw some points in there. Okay. And then I got nothing else I can level up with three points, so I might as well save them for later. What happened here? And we're into Let's special start over. mode. Where did they break in from? Well, Blood. Obviously. Seems like amateur work. Someone in a panic. Someone in a hurry. They needed to get their medicine and occultism up. Someone tall left his footprint. A man, probably. How do you know they're tall? I mean, you, you can tell that they got big feet, I guess, but from one footprint? This burglar seems to be rather clumsy. All right, glad I upgraded my medicine so much while I was in here. I'm glad we know that they're clumsy. All right, it was clearly someone who was in a rush. Oh, it's dark over here. Can't use my lighter either. That's fine. Um, I can't go into there, can I? Can go in here. A painting. Oh, lots of stuff going on with the painting. What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? Uh oh. I've seen that symbol. What the frick of frack? What the? Charles Hawkins? What's happening to Hawkins? Possibly know that what Hawkins... sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? You've seen it. Why are you asking? Oh, a big book. Oh. Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. How are my memories doing this kind of thing to me? What killed all these animals? Book. The book did it. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. 
Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Okay, it's, uh, it's getting weird. Let's see if we can find a clue that will help with that. Nope. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? It would seem so. And you're taking quite a lot of them. What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? Right, so the amulet has the symbol on. The one we've been seeing everywhere. Uh, this key that bears the elder sign. Elder sign. Let's go with that. Let's 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 go with that. Uh, is the only one able to protect your psyche. It is in the form of a cylindrical medallion hanging at the end of a heavy chain. Hundreds of years ago, the star and the branch, whose purpose is to push back the forces of the great old ones, were engraved at its center. Everything points to it being Charles Hawkins that tore it from its last owner, an Egyptian antique dealer. In press cuttings that mention the misdemeanor, the date of the robbery coincides with the last of Hawkins' trips to, uh, of to Cairo. It remains to be seen whether he knows the true purpose of the artifact. Try to find it. Okay. So... Essentially, it's working kind of like a pentagram is meant to with with demons and that kind of thing, like a um, as a as a ward against evil. But in this case, it's against the old ones, the old gods, like like Cthulhu. Um, so for some reason, Charles Hawkins is the one who took it, but we think Charles is in the cult. So why would he want something that would repel Cthulhu? Also, how can something as powerful as Cthulhu be repelled by a symbol on a chain? All right. More medicine. That's good. Oh, hello. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Right. Um... If somebody finds these memoirs, there will be no doubt that I am in serious trouble. Well, yeah. My last and only hope is that my body and bones are still in this plane of reality in order that they be recovered and burned. The funeral urn must be given to my dear mother if she is still of this world. The following message is of capital importance. Whoever reads these lines and demonstrates acuity as sharp as mine can hope to gain access to my most precious possession. Right, I might as well give up now then. It lies within my safe, and the clues to the combination are to be found in three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Each cylinder is numbered. Even if, as the celebrated author says, order is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight of the imagination, indeed, Despite my preference for organized chaos, I must admit that reason usually prevails in the end. If by chance a person, or should I say a genius, was to match my intellect and find the combination of the safe, I would ask that they deliver its contents into the safekeeping of my friend and colleague, Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University. The content of this safe is not only a vast digest of knowledge, but also a weapon it's far too dangerous for it to fall into the wrong hands. I hope that you will be able to appreciate the danger that this represents and that you will act accordingly. In any event, I will neither be there to guide you nor to suffer from your actions. I feel as though we should just leave well enough alone. All right, so, um, something to do with the Greeks, something to do with study. All right, now there's a lot of these anatomical pictures around. Oh, there's a lot of books I can read. Arkham now. editions. Never heard of them. Um. Right. 
minutes. I'm not taking these. How many so volumes have something are there? to do with it? So this is volume eight. Um, lyrical work published in 1768. Okay, maybe one of these books. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Oh, Jack of all trades, eh? What? Inspect 50 items. Okay. Thought I'd accidentally discovered something. Long-term astrological predictions written in verse. Written by Nostradamus, translated by Ileone. Volume is part of the Arkham Anthology. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Arkham Editions? Again. Never heard of them. That's volume one. How many volumes are there in this collection? I don't know, mate. I don't know, but clearly they are clues. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Yep. Maybe it's something to do with the order that they're placed in. Arkham Editions. That's Never nine. heard of them. Um, there's poems. How many volumes are there in this collection? I get it. There's a lot of volumes. Alright. There are none that are explicitly about Greek or studies. Let's just... Things are not looking good. No. Who are they playing? Kind of chalice. This goblet seems to be very ancient. It seems to be made of gold and decorated with real precious stones. Do the re rubies and sapphires make up a specific motif? Um, I mean, they follow a pattern, but. Oh, God. I might actually need like genius level intellect to figure this one out. I don't have the option to leave. Okay, it has to be solvable. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should right. perhaps listen to them. Okay. We'll go in order, I guess. And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Right, so that sounds like he's talking about the, the goblet we were just looking at. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Okay, so maybe something to do with the chessboard. Dear friend. I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham Editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. Azathoth, if memory serves, is one of the, like, one of the super OP, um, great old ones. Like, as in the kind that if Cthulhu could feel fear, that would be something he would fear. So what you said, friend, Volume 9? I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham Editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, as a part and other horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. Okay, so there was something about the goblet. Browsing. The Chalice of Knowledge. I can only 
spin it like this. What clues are meant to be a clue? Alright, let's try the chessboard again. Right, the White Queen. Oh, the White Queen is gone. There is no White Queen. Two knights, a rook, and a king. The queen has little protection. Wait, is that meant to be the queen? Well, where's the king then? The queen has little protection. Okay, and something about volume nine. Drake talked about a particular volume. Also known as the Nightmare Lyrics, this collection of poems was sensationally received when first published in 1908. Dabby was only 18 years old. The volume was part of the Arkham Anthology, a luxurious collection of treaties and works on esotericism and the supernatural. Alright, so could one of them be the number nine? I need to listen to those cylinders again. And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. He only mentions the red drops. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. What if it's the number of red gems? I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. Number of pieces left. I see left. our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We number shall refuse pieces, to I mean. be the playthings of destiny. Alright, and then maybe just try nine, because it's volume nine. The Chalice of Knowledge. Alright, so if we go from that crack, red pieces, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so five, three, nine. Let's try it. No way! <laughs> oh! Genius. Genius. So to be clear, anyone who's stuck on that, it's the number of red gems on the goblet, the number of players remaining to protect the White Queen, so not including the Queen itself, and then nine as in volume nine of the Arkham uh, journals, diaries, whatever they were. Sauron's in this. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Close the book. Close the book. Close the book. Burn the book. Too late. Alright, so we're going to leave it there for that episode. Uh, seems as though we're heading somewhere else now. And I figure though, that's, that's, that's pretty good pretty good place to stop for today uh, all right so I hope you enjoyed this episode um, do stay tuned I am I am doing pretty well with the daily uploads I did take Sunday off but you know, I've got to take at least one day off a week right right um, but yeah I'm gonna keep going with these daily until we are done so if you did enjoy please remember to like share and subscribe uh, it would mean so much to me uh, and I will see you in the next one Keep it nerdy. Bye-bye.